living in the future can never become the now. That is quite a good example of a tendency that many of us seem to have. Now, what I mean by this is that many of us tend to dream, space out, distance ourselves from our lives as a justification to avoid personal issues. This can go on for months and months until the point where it becomes a habit. Eventually, you will get stuck in the constant dreaming. You forget everything you know when you're alone in your own world, when it's only you in focus, only you in charge. Living in a presence that we are not happy with has become more or less of a habit among youth today. There are several more things affecting us. Now, I'm not saying that we become weaker as humans, just that factors in our lives have larger impacts. Examples of people who might desperately want to escape life or reality can be people who are bullied, suffer from depression, or having anxiety. And these are unfortunately people with quite the large, how to say, scale in our society. One out of three students are bullied in school, 20% of all students suffer from, de suffer from depression, and just as many people that suffer from bullying suffer from anxiety. Now what many teenagers do when we feel like we're on living a presence that we're happy with is then creating a new one. Now, these previously mentioned cases, they sound, may sound just the tad bit extreme. It does not take much for a person to long for a different life. It can be a current state or a minor issue. I know for a fact that many of us do this. It makes us feel as if we have control over something that we usually don't. It makes us feel powerful when all we've ever felt like is weak. Your mind, it has few limits. And the limits that we have are the ones we create by ourselves. So we open our eyes for this entirely new world. No one really wants to go back to the place where only great days and suffering exists. Why would you ever choose that? Your mind, it's a safe havoc, where you decide what happens and if nothing happens. This is so much better than the cold and brutal and harsh world that we live in. Where special is bad and ordinary is just plain and boring. Where you can never truly be yourself. It's a defense. When you feel like you can't stand this presence, then you know you have another one to go back to. But that's the thing. This world that we create, it's not real. What happens in our mind are just illusions. A man called Alan Watts once quoted in one of his speeches, a person who thinks all the time has nothing to think about except thoughts. So, he loses touch with reality and lives in a world of illusions. This world that we create, it isn't real, no matter how much we want it to. The real is what we see when we open our eyes. And even if it's a cold and horrible place, it doesn't make it fiction. Your illusions can never become real. And the real world can never become unreal. Sometimes it's hard to separate yourself from these thoughts and illusions. I, as many others, am familiar with these difficulties. I stayed too long in my mind and stopped living for my now. I grew to love the futures that I would never have and wishes that would never become real. My mind was shattered. A million dreams like small, small lights keeping me alive, yet they were slowly killing me as I could never move on. They became a part of me. And when you're already in so many pieces scattered across the room, it's hard to pick up one specific shard, throw it out the window, and not lose something else dear to you. It was a battle against myself, a battle against me and who I wanted to be. We will all experience this, having to fight ourselves, our reflections, and there's always losses in battles, simply because the presence, presence isn't pleasant, doesn't mean it's unimportant. Everything that you do will have an impact on your life later on. All these opportunities have passed by us, so we don't pay a thought because our minds are wandering an invisible lane, seeing only what's directly in front of us. Everyone that I've interviewed said that they've lost something this, during this period. It could have been friends they could have had or things they could have done. 
What happens when we do this is that we lose contact with the world as it is. But uh, we lose all these things that could have been magical. We pass by opportunities to heal what we see as broken. This world, it's made up of one place, this planet. Yet each pair of eyes wander an entirely different Vila. It is your own responsibility to heal, to mend all the wounds that you gather along the way. It is your choice how you move on. If you move on. Your life is made up on development. <laughs> Everything that happens will have an effect on your life later. How you choose to handle bad times makes you the person that you are. What we need to learn is that we can't pause development and then simply move on with our lives. You decide what, who you want to be and what you will become. Face harder times, suffer through them, or you'll end up running towards your mind every single time troubles comes your way. Dreams, they may come true, but illusions are just fragments of our minds. What would happen if we learned to live for the now, to not gaze upon the dream lens hidden behind our faces, safely resting in our minds? How could that affect us as humans? What if we decided to live through misery and greatness and never lose sight of reality? The challenges we face in, not in life will never become easier. The chance of getting depression is just as likely for a teenager as for an adult. Anxiety increases with age. The chance of losing someone you love is higher as we grow. All these obstacles won't stop coming at us, no matter how hard life has been. The world keeps revolving, and it doesn't care if yours suddenly stops. Obstacle upon obstacle, heartbreak upon heartbreak, never easier. We just figure out how to deal with it. To keep, up, to keep moving on, to keep moving on, to keep living in this bittersweet world. To live on knowing joy is up to you. They say life is precious. And I say that we start living it as fit is. Thanks.